I think it's particularly exciting times for the small practice physicians today. And as we know, the majority of patient care is delivered in small practices. So what you and I hear a lot about is big data today and what it's going to do for healthcare, as well as all other aspects of our lives and the economy. And in the context of healthcare, I'm particularly excited, having worked in healthcare for over 30 years, of what big data can do for healthcare. I think of the three tenants, the three V's, as they sometimes call them, for big data, volume, velocity, and variety. Well, I think healthcare has that in spades. I mean, volume, my gosh, you know, I think of all the care, the notes that are written, the structured data, the tremendous amount of unstructured data that's created from care, the images, all the recordings. And the recordings are an example of the velocity. I think of all the devices we have in care that are implanted devices, that are streaming video, that are the monitoring equipment. And that, that clearly is the velocity that second by second, minute by minute, is giving information to nurses and caregivers about what's happening with the patient and therefore what potentially should be happening to their treatment. And then I think volume, velocity, variety, tying all of that together to really improve and analyze data in all the different ways it's captured, doing that analysis in its native state. And granted, the small physician practice today may not have a tremendous amount of data to contribute, but they certainly, the majority, will have data that they can contribute. And they will be beneficiaries because of how quickly the big data um, aspect of computing is advancing. It'll become mainstream, even though it's perhaps not mainstream today in healthcare. It'll be mainstream in the, the years to come. And that will make transformative changes, I believe, to healthcare. It won't be incremental changes. It'll be transformative changes. So first thing I'd say is big data. The second point I'd make to the small physician practices, the groups that are out there, is get ready. Because it is going to be exciting times in the years to come. So I think we're all, as patients as well as physicians and caregivers, going to have to have an open mind about what all of these advanced analytics capabilities can bring to healthcare. Uh, we have to be ready that best practices, new ones are going to be identified, that this may mean we need to adapt our business processes, our clinical processes, our interaction with the patients, and we're all going to have to be open, whether we're consumers, whether you're physicians, or other types of caregivers to the fact that with this healthcare transformation, it truly will revolutionize how and where and when, and perhaps why care is in fact delivered in the future. The third point I'd make is about the payers, because I don't think we can forget about the commercial payers, the government as a payer, or some of the very large systems like Veterans Administration, military health. That aspect of healthcare does directly communicate and impact small physician practices. And I think there are some correlations that perhaps can be drawn. When I talk with my payer colleagues, they talk about personalized treatment, personalized communication. So they are absolutely getting into the quote unquote personalized aspect of what analytics will do, what data sharing does. And they're doing it perhaps in ways like thinking about a single view of the consumer across all of the various care delivery points. They're thinking about a single view of the provider, even though the provider practices in multiple locations with multiple organizations. They're thinking about the relationships of data, the patient to the provider, to the organization, to the insurer. So with big data, establishing and understanding those relationships, I think is going to be a key to what's going to come down the road in the future. So I think that bond uh, between payers and the small physician practices, while it's just a financial bond now, 
I think it'll be a bigger bond in the years to come. And then last, but certainly not least, is Watson. I'm excited about what Watson can mean to everyone. I'm excited about what it can mean to me as a consumer, what it can mean to the small physician practices and all caregivers, because it's going to enable people with very timely access to information that now takes months or even years, perhaps, to get out to small physician practices and the various components of the healthcare delivery system. And I think when you talk about personalized care and Watson, you can state those in the same breath without any reservation. So I I'm excited about what the future of healthcare is. There's so much going on that has the potential to truly transform, improve cost, increase efficiencies, and, and improve the care for you and I. Music